Hello people and welcome back to another Minecraft series. This time we're playing Simply Magic, a mod pack by Drastic Demise forward slash Brizzle I believe it was. But uh, let's create a new world. As per normal, so the kids know exactly whose world it is. He will spell it incorrectly. Daddy's world. And for once we don't have caps lock which is quite nice. Uh, when I first loaded it it told me I needed ATG alternate, so we'll go ATG alternate. Turn my freaking headphones down so I can hear myself talking. Done. That is where we'll leave the seed blank. And we'll create a new world. Now I did load this once just to have a look at a few of the quests just to see what I wanted to start on. And I'm gonna start oh, I'll stretch there, I'm gonna start with Britannia. Because it will help me with other quests. But the problem with Britannia is, I didn't see many flowers around on the little walk around that I had when I played. Just have a couple of uh, main differences about this mod pack. Hello. Wow, that's a that's a nice spawn. Wow, we're okay for food, and hopefully we can find a blacksmith, and hopefully a. Um, a library sort of place with some bookshelves. See, because my first goal once I'd loaded the game was to find a cow so I could get some leather, some sugar cane for some paper so I could make a book. But with this starting locate. Hello! <laughs> I'll even have your crafting bench. Thank you very much. So I'll just grab a load of these books here. A shame, uh, you haven't got a pickaxe or anything, have you? Whilst I'm here, that'd be quite handy. Ha! Huh. I'll have a quick look at the uh, quest book in a minute. Because we need. Well, we only need a sapling now in order to start Britannia. We've got Witchery, Formcraft, Britannia, Mistcraft, Ars Magica, Blood Magic, Information and Challenges, which is. Getting a shitload of items like 15,000 rotting flesh and stuff. Mods that I haven't played with Aura Cascade, Ars Magica, Mistcraft, and Witchery. I've played Formcraft and Britannia and Blood Magic. Not extensively, but I've played them. Um, is there a blacksmith found here by any chance? More food down there, but I don't really need more food at the moment. Let's see if this guy's got anything interesting in his house. Oh. This is Mistcraft stuff, isn't it? A writing desk. No, I'll just, I'll just, write, I'll just make this stuff myself, I think. Oh, we get more books, why the hell not? You never have too many books. Oh, maybe you can. Wooden planks are just for the hell of it. I would say, I'd say 36 books is enough. Bloody hope so. And we have a blacksmith. I always check these for coal, even though I know full well that they won't have them. Let's see if I can actually... Right, ooh, there's a progress bar at the bar top. That's quite nice. I think that's the first time I've seen that. The breaking of a block with a progress bar. Will this destroy it, or will it give me? Destroy it. Okay, fine. Sheep laughed at me then. Ah, twat. Witching gadgets. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll take that. We'll take these. Nice. Now the durability is not very good on iron. Who are you? You're quite the uh, the weird villager there. Anything exciting up here? Grass. Well, uh, everyone has in their house, isn't it, really? A bit more wheat. Sod it. Since I'm up here, I might as well grab it. Don't think I'll be coming back. Don't mind me, people. I'll replant it later. Honest to God. Potato, potato, potato. That's another thing. It wants you to automate getting 1,500 poisonous potatoes. Ah, here's some botanical plants. That's nice. But ideally, I want some white ones. Oh, a bit more food, why not? 
Not like it's taking up any more space in my inventory. Whoops, don't worry about that one. Uh, we need to find... Oh, actually there's some sheep, isn't there? And I got some iron. There's an iron is no good for anything, really. I've got one pickaxe, which is perfect. There's a sheep. Right, come here, I want your wool. Are there more sheep than you? Let's just zoom in a bit on the map. Oh, there are more sheep. Let's go down there and get some more wool. Uh, I don't know why I had to zoom in on the map to find these. They're right there. Yeah, sheepy. I'm sure I saw another one around here. Yeah. Wow. Okay, there we go. And yeah, I think that's all that's going to be around here. Let's exit this place. We've got to find some wood so we can make a bed and that will make our lives a lot easier. Yeah. Get more food so I don't have to worry about it later. Oh, sorry. Just jumped on your crops. Just send me a bill. I won't pay it. <laughs> what a weird village. Yep. One thing I did see on the ATG uh, yeah, what's it called? Slot like biomes are plenty. World generation, that's the one. Wow, that was cool. Um, yeah, one thing I did see on ATG, world rendering, whatever you want to call it, world generation, is there's like large rivers or something, but all the water is flowing in the direction of going downhill. It's pretty cool. We need to keep our eye out for some white Britannia flowers, which aren't those ones there. I believe they're pink Britannia ones there. We don't necessarily need white straight away, but we need it for sort of like part of quest way the questing. Shame there was no axe at that place. Hmm. I'll just get this cobblestone here because I'm gonna need some cobblestone for a petal apothecary or petal pedestal or something. I know. I know what I'm going for it. Even if you don't. And we want to make a furnace as well for these potatoes. Not that I've got any coal. But uh, what was I saying about the iron tools? Oh yes, the iron tools have only got 100 durability. I don't know about the armour. Uh, gold and diamond have only got one durability, so that'll just break. Literally pointless crafting it. No point at all in doing it. Don't waste your time. Should be enough for what I want. Oh my god, get up there! Right then. Got some gimps down there. There's plenty of sheep around here, that's for certain. Oh, I'm a bit zoomed in there, a bit too much on the map there, I didn't like that. Come on, give me some white plants. And there seem to be a lot of these hills as well on this. Yeah, I'll use the shears because that's what they're for. Mowing through mud. How high is this hill? There we go. Get to the top, see if we can spot some white flowers from up here. You're not white flowers. Jesus Christ, hill! King of the hill, this is. Does it just, does it ever stop? It does look beautiful, this rain though. Oh, yes. Okay, looks like it doesn't ever stop. I mean, I was only joking. Oh, we got some piggies over there. I did get a sword. Let's get some meat. Mmm, piggies. I said we're right back by the village. We've sort of double round on ourselves. You'll find my sense of. <sighs> oh, that's the first sword gone. Apparently, the sword, iron sword, has got one durability as well. Which is kind of forcing you to make the magical stuff. Okay, can you see any white flowers anywhere? No. Is this a sheer drop? Yes. Oh, oh my god. What is this? Let's just get some more of these. We're going to need plenty of petals of different flowers. Ah, what we got here? Mystical green. See what I mean by they're very far and few between. It's like 
And the white ones are even worse. Okay, let's go back down the hill. We'll go down this way, sorry. This way, this way, this way, way. Ooh, grey ones. I always have trouble finding these in no matter what one I play. They just seem to generate so crappily. I don't know why. Let's go have a look over here. This looks wonderful. Whoa, what's that? Farmcraft stuff. Let's go see what we've got in our little chest over there. I should really get some wood so I can make a bed. Let's just check this out first. Mana steel, mana steel, yes, please. Uh, no, not really. No, no. Take the bread. You can keep the rest. It's going night time. I need some bread. Uh, bread. I need some wood. Is there just going to be one piece of wood here? Of course there is. Why would there be any more? You got another piece of wood here for me? What is that? Is that an elephant or something? Regardless, let's just get our crafting bench down quickly so we can sleep. Yup. Yup. Put the bed down. Sleepable. Sleepable. False, apparently. The moon's up. And the night is zero. Or well, the light is zero. Oh, God, I can't stop stretching. I feel so good. Right, inventory's getting full. I need to set up a home somewhere. Let's just go have a look at this guy. Some pig fat. Maybe he likes a Ars magic. I don't really need that at the moment. Are you friendly? Friendly? You are friendly, okay. Nice elephant. Friendly elephant. Okay, I'm going to have a wander around see if I can find myself some white flowers and I'll be back in a minute. Land ahoy! We just travelled for miles all the way across over to another piece of land. I temporarily exited the game and upped the flower generation of Batania because I just could not find anything anywhere. I don't know if I was just being unlucky or what but I've virtually doubled whatever was in the common fig on Batania. That's sort of the first time I've ever actually played with... Hello? Boaty? Oh, poor Boaty. Where am I? I'm sure there was black flowers here, just. Oh, I got teleported, it would seem. There's Boaty. Come here, you. Actually, no, my inventory is already full as it is. Another elephant. At least I can have another pet elephant over on this island. Still no white flowers, though. Yeah, as you can see, they generate in bigger clusters. But I can't honestly, for the life of me, understand why you wouldn't want plenty of flowers for a mod pack like this. Jeez. Elephant, you're just... Whoa, shit! Get away. Yes! Look at this. This is much better. Maybe I've overdone it on the uh, generation on the leaves, but honestly, I don't care. I don't want to spend my time looking around for freaking leaves. Plants, rather. Loads of white ones, nice. Now we can just find somewhere to set up a nice little house. A base of operations. Let's get up on top of this, another sodding hill that we've got to climb up to the top of. So we can have a good look around. I wonder if that's a stream over there that I could show you. Is it? No, it doesn't look like it. Let's just get to the top of this. No, maybe we won't get to the top of this hill. Ah, yes, it is a stream, look. See, look. Look at that. That's brilliant. How beautiful is that? And the current goes all the way down. Some sugar cane down here as well. I'll get some of that. I mean, look how cool is this. It looks awesome. I love it. I love the way it does this. Biomes are plenty. You've got a challenger. Ooh. Yes, please. Get some of this coal. So we can start cooking stuff. If we need to. I um, don't think I've actually got anything to cook yet. Just been living on carrots at the moment. Get some torches going. I can start doing some mining in between this episode and the next. But first, 
Let's find ourselves a nice little spot to hmm. let's look on the map. Yeah, the map is pretty screwed up at the moment. I think it's it's got what I was doing. It's got from where I generated last time when I tested the map. Oh my god, I can't talk. From when I was testing the mod pack to see what the quests were like. To see which ones I want to start. It's still got the world generation map from that. Which is a bit weird. What, where am I now? I'm here. Hmm. I don't really know where to go. It's a bit weird, this generation for a house or something. So I might just set up. Overlooking the sea. Oh, we've got some great wood wood over there, which is quite nice. On top of this mountain, maybe? How big is it? That's the question. I'd much prefer somewhere sort of flat so I could actually be able to make some stuff. But the terrain around here says no. What does the map say? Where am I? There I am. Okay, that, that doesn't look very flat either, yet on here it looks like it's flat. But it's far from flat. Mm. Down there looks the flattest, really. Overlooking the sea, it'd be beautiful. Plus we're going to need water. Stuff. Not that there isn't plenty of water everywhere, but... Do spawn slimes spawn in these areas as well, don't they? I'm sure. Okay, okay, okay. This this looks promising. A cave as well. Oh lava. Is it is that it? That's the cave. That's the cave system. Okay, well at least nothing can come out of there. Okay, let's try and set up shop around here then. Just get rid of some of this grass here. There we go. Right then. Well, let's get that quest book and uh, have a look at the first quest, shall we? Simply Magic aims to provide magic-focused gameplay in which users are required to progress without the comforts of vanilla armors and tools. Innovative gameplay is the name of the game. Good luck. I always say gameplay when I see it like that. It's just the way I do it. So, I mean, let's have a look at Witchery for exist, exist, uh, example. Ugh. See, it needs loads of seeds, which needs me to break loads of grass. Which I don't want to do. What's that? Vampirism. Mm. Okay, there's prerequisites. Anyway, we're going to Britannia. So first thing we need is the Lexica Britannia, which requires a book and a sapling. Um, let's put our bed down first, because it's going dark again. And we also want our crafting table down. Crafting table. Bed. All right, and Let's make a chest. Get rid of you. Rip. And we'll just put you down here as well. Good. Let's just sort that out. All right, plants, 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 plants. That's all the Batania stuff, I do believe. And then we'll go sleep. Still false. We'll make another chest whilst we're waiting for that. And this can be for a random junk that can go by the bed. Wood, wood, seeds. I'll keep that on me. Actually, we'll just chuck that in there for now. Sugar cane, I should really start getting grown, but sod it. Oh, I need you. I'm going to need you for the pedestal thing. Fat, salt chunk. Don't need these books at the moment. Potatoes, I need to make a. Ooh, night time. There we go. Mobs are spawning. Let's just double check we're on hard. Yep, good. Right, so we've got 14 of those, so we'll have one of those. Right, okay, so first thing... It still seems really dark in here. What is the brightness of Video settings, brightness, there we go. That's better. Much better. That must be garlic or something for witchery. So first thing we need to do is make that book, which I've just put all the books away, and the saplings, there we go. Right. Sapling and a book gives us the Lexica Britannica, and then for the next thing we need a petal apothecary, 
which is quite easily two slabs. I've totally forgot I need to just get some leaves as well from that first. Right, two slabs, a leaf, doesn't matter what plant you put there, you can put anything. And there, and we've got ourselves a petal apothecary. Uh, unfortunately we've only got... Did I see iron down in that cave? I think I may have. Let's just chuck that there for a minute, because we need a bucket. Let me just have a quick sneaky peek in here. Any iron in here? No, just a skeleton, okay. Die, 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 die. Iron? No, okay, I need some torches. I need to find some iron. I need to find some torches? I need to craft some torches, rather. Let's see some more, get some carrot down my neck again. Mmm, like a freaking rabbit. Wood. Wood, 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 wood. Oh, we'll just have... Actually, we'll have... Yeah, why not? We'll have that many. Pop. And then eight. That's plenty. Well, let's just go down here and see if we can find any iron. Any iron? Now we've got some amber. More amber. Oh, well, that's a pain in the arse. No iron. I've got a mine for iron by the looks of it. Unless there just happens to be another cave around here. Which I highly doubt. Yeah, I think I've overdone it on the generation of these plants. I might tone it down again now that I've generated this area. But uh, anyway. We'll call this a short episode. This is the introductory episode. We will be getting ourselves a pure daisy and getting some living rock and some living wood in the next episode. So we're going to need a furnace for certain. We're going to have to cook some stone up, which we can get going now, of course. Uh, you can go here. So if we just chuck two pieces of coal in there, just separate that, and then put two, two. That will give us 16 living wood. I'll chop down some wood, unless I've got plenty. Nah, not got plenty. I need plenty of that stuff as well. Oh, Mistcraft has finished profiling, apparently. Didn't even know it was doing that. Anyway, next episode we'll carry on with getting through some of these Britannia quests, start setting up a house around here I suppose. I can probably close off this tunnel because it's useless and I'll start mining somewhere as well. Set up a nice little mining shaft somewhere, that would be nice. A proper mining shaft, I haven't had one of those in ages. Probably even make it look fancy, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.